Hello guys and gals, welcome to a new tutorial. In today's video, we're going to be covering how we can have our VR kit interact with a widget in our games. Now, this is going to work regardless of whether you're using an Oculus or a Vive. Uh, so I'm just going to use the general terminology. I'm not going to use specifics for either piece. I'm using a Vive, but I assure you this should work properly regardless so when you create your vr project you should be greeted by this lovely little display uh, this is just the default startup map your content folder will just be blank you'll be in the, the base content folder and up here your play will be selected viewport selected viewport is just going to give you mouse control you're not going to have access to your actual vr kit using that so you need to change this over to vr preview and then that will allow you to use the headset and your motion controllers properly so first thing we're going to do is we're going to click into our virtual reality BP blueprint then into maps and then go to our motion controller map. This is just the basic little demo that um, Epic have set up for us where we've got our controller you can move over to these little boxes and you can throw them around if you're a child. So let's just make sure that everything's working. You see I've got my hands here. We can go over here and knowing me I'm probably going to slap something back so we can pick this up we can throw it. Yay! So that's all working as it should. There we go. Now, I already have my Steam VR opened up already. Uh, when you first boot your VR project, that should self open. Um, if not, it will definitely open once you press to play through VR. So what do we need? Let's head to our content folder. We're just gonna make a new folder. Let me just move these controllers out of the way. We'll grab you when we need you. Oh, it's weird doing, tu doing a tutorial with extra bits on the side. Like, oh, it's weird. Uh, so we're just going to call this tutorial. Ooh, criminy tutorial underscore content, just so we know what we're doing. We're going to right-click this, and then we're going to head to user interface, widget blueprint, and we're going to call this VR underscore widget. We'll open this up. Now, I'm not going to talk you through this because we've done widget tutorials before, and there's millions of widget tutorials out there. So what we're going to do is we're just going to add a button to our canvas Hello button, and then we are going to add some text to our button and our text. We're just going to change this so it doesn't say text block. We'll say uh, reset underscore level. Well, we don't even need the underscore, just reset level. There we are. And then what we're going to do is head to the graph, delete this stuff, click our little button, then unclicked. We're going to do a thing. The thing we will do is we will open level. Now, obviously, you can do whatever you want with this. Let me just get the level name here. Content, blah, blah, maps. You can make your widget do whatever you want. As I say, this isn't a user interface tutorial itself. It's how to get our VR to interact with this. Then what we're going to do is we're going to tell you what, we'll, we'll make it go to the startup map. Startup map. So when we press the button, it goes to the startup map. Yay. Lovely. Now what we need to do is we need to create the widget in the world. So what we're going to do, so we're just going to find where our little start guy is, our little doofer. We're going to go into our tutorial content, right click, blueprint class. We give this an actor class. I'm going to say VR world BP. Open this up and then we're going to add a component and this is going to be a widget. Or oh, knocking the microphone. I've got too much stuff to watch out for. Uh, then we're going to go to our widget class here, VR widget. And you're going to see it's not really going to show up properly. Uh, this is because the draw size is tiny. We're going to change this to 1920 by 1080. What? Bosh. Now you can see it. And it's going to be a bit big. But we can scale this down in the world. We just want to make sure that we've got enough pixels. Drag this into our little world here. Spin it around because it's flipped. And as we thought, it's huge, so we're just going to shrink it down. All right, if we press play, we should be able to see that now. There it is. Yay. But if we were to grab my little virtual hands, make sure that we can actually put this headset on our head. Yeah. Oh, we've teleported. Screw my life. Screw my life. Do not push your big buttons. You'll teleport. You'll see that our hands can't do anything with it. Oh, no. I feel so powerless. <laughs> Why? Right. So we can't actually do anything with it right now. Uh, and that's because our controllers and our pawn don't know what that thing is. So what we're going to do is head into our virtual reality BP 
uh, folder, head into blueprints. Uh, we don't want to do this on the motion controller pawn because this is literally our camera and then how our hands are going to interact with uh, where our camera is based and it's going to be based on where your face is and where your arms are. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into the BP underscore motion controller and you'll see in our viewport this is where we've got our lovely hand. Hello hand. Isn't it beautiful? Now what we need to do here to make sure that we can interact with things is we need to give this a lovely widget interaction. Some of you may have seen that before when we typed widget, widget interaction. And now we need to make sure that this is parented to the hand. So drag this up to hand mesh and let go. And then it's going to be parented to the hand. And now what we're going to do is we're just going to change our distance up a little bit. I'm just going to put it to 750. I find 750 is quite a nice, uh, a nice thing. And we're going to turn on show debug so that we can see the line. I'm just going to change this to a nicer color. Green. Red is such an offensive color. I don't like the color red. And we'll press compile and then if we were to press play grab our little headset you can see we've got some lazy beams shooting out of our hands now and you can see we can now highlight this but if we pull that trigger nothing happens but you can see that we get a highlight yay Woo! Oh, i actually kind of but where i'm sitting i nailed the distance a little bit maybe mm, who knows all right so you only have to do it for one hand because your left hand i believe it's the left hand uh gets mirrored from the right hand or vice versa so yeah we start with the right hand and the left hand is just a, a literal copy so you only have to attach this to one hand and it'll be on both hands righto so next thing that we're going to do is we need to give this some sort of uh you know an actual key press to interact we're going to use um our triggers so we'll say motion well, actually we we will already have a key ready for this if we go to edit project settings input and we go to our action mappings we've got grab left and we've got grab right which are our motion controllers right and left trigger now you can put this onto any button that you want to i'm going to just add this to grab right and grab left for now so i'm going to go back into here and we're going to say grab right and we're going to say grab left and what we're going to do is we're going to tell this to uh, simulate an event. So with our widget interaction here, we're going to drag this out, drag from this, and we're going to say uh, press a pointer key. And then we're going to drag out again and say release pointer key because we don't want to uh, ever uh, just hold the mouse button down. We don't want to just hold the, the, the button down. So release pointer key we're going to set this to our mouse left button and left mouse button we want to make sure that both are left because we need to be able to release it so i'm pressed of either we're going to press the pointer key and on release we're going to release the pointer key now by default this isn't going to work because we need to make sure that our input is enabled so input Auto receive input for player zero, compile, close, press play, move out the way of the microphone, grab our sexy, sexy hands. Woo, aren't they lovely? And now if we're floating our mouse on, uh, well, our mouse, our hand on here and we press the right trigger, we load the next level. Whoa, look where we are. Isn't that exciting? So it's working how it should. So let's see if we can just go a step further here. I just want to see whether or not we can have this. Um, have the beams disappear so maybe we don't want the beams maybe we only want the beams if we're holding down the uh, side buttons or in fact i don't know what buttons you've got on your uh your lovely vives and uh, not vives rather oculuses let me just test these buttons because some of these things open other stuff up so our menu button's going to be available so what we'll do is we'll close this down and let's see we can go into our lovely motion controller and we'll say uh, motion on controller oh we've got lots of face buttons there which one do we want Blimey. we're gonna say grip one so if we're gripping the side button for our little controller uh, then we will turn the 
beam on and off. So what we're going to do is grab our widget interaction. And we'll set show debug to yes. And if we're not holding it, we'll set our show debug to no. And we're going to set our default for this to be off. So now when we press play, if I grab my little right hand here, I haven't put it on the left one, if we hold this side button, then you can see we get our button. It's still going to work with or without it, but this way you can turn on the ugly green blob. Yeah, we can't have it on this one, but we can add that later on. But you can see here we're working and then pop, ta-da, yay! <laughs> And that's how we can turn off that uh, that little debug line so that we can only aim when we want to aim. Pretty cool, right? I've said reset level on there. It's not even reset the level. We're loading the new level, but whatever. Anyway, there you go, guys. Uh, that's how we can have a quick uh, VR widget interaction. Obviously, you're going to want to change things up a little bit. Maybe you'll have it so that when you... Uh, when you press this, you're also going to cast to the widget, maybe have a, a little variable in here. In fact, let's do that. Let's add a variable here. And this is, what the heck did we call it? We called it VR. <laughs> do we call it, yeah, VR world BP, uh, object reference. And we're going to call this our widget ref. And then we will say widget ref, get widget ref. Just make sure it is valid because we don't want to cause any problems here. Now what we'll do is branch. So if this is valid, then set visible. So what we'll set add to hidden in game. New hidden to no, and then the other way around. In fact, we just need these guys. Like so. Bish bash bosh. Hidden yes, like that. And then we just need to get a reference to this at the begin play. So let's see. Oh, right click. Do we have a begin play in here already? I believe we do for adding. Yep. So what we're going to do here is we'll just get all actors of class. VR world. We know there's only going to be one, so we're just going to get our first one. Set this to our widget ref, then move on with the rest of the stuff. There we are. So now when we press play, let me grab our little hand. It disappears when we get rid of our menu. And this is going to be a great way that you can then add this widget instead as a 3D widget on your arm, perhaps, so that you can have the whole wrist thing. Uh, rather than it being floating in the world. That way you always know where it's going to be if it's actually built into here. Let's see if we can set that up too. In fact, no. Shall we? Shall we? Yeah, why not? So what we're going to do... Oh, in fact, no, because that's going to draw it on both, and I'm not going to bother with that right now. We'll do that in another tutorial, how to make it as a watch, because we have to obviously split the hands because we've got the secondary hand getting drawn there. So there we go. That's how we can get our VR thing all sorted out. So we have a widget that's workable with our VR controller. Uh, thank you very much for watching, guys. Uh, check the description for my social media links, my Twitch, uh, my Discord channel, and my Patreon. I really need to get some more people going into the, the Patreon. Um, just because. Support me, guys. <laughs> I, need, I need to get paid. <laughs> anyway thank you guys for watching i'll see you next time i love you all bye bye